kids, I am just going through the unknown factor reef in the Division Ocean. Oh, the shark? Yeah, you don't need to worry about him. He is my friend and we are looking for the unknown factor treasure. In order to find the treasure, we need to learn some division with unknown factors. Will you guys help me? Great, let's go. To start off, let's solve a division problem in one way and then look at its factors. The problem to solve is 15 divided by 3 equals blank. One way to solve this is by starting with the drawing. We are dividing by 3, so we have 3 boxes. The problem is telling us we will take 15 circles and divide them equally among 3 groups. We will put a circle in each group until all circles are gone. We divided the 15 circles into 3 groups like the problem shows. Can you tell me how many circles are in each box? There are 5 circles. Great job! 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Did you know that in every division problem there is also a multiplication problem? We had 3 groups of 5 and 3 times 5 equals 15. In the division problem up top, the 15 we are dividing by is the product in the multiplication problem. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but if we recognize that a division problem can be figured out by using multiplication, it can make things so much easier. We are going to look at the factor family, also called a factor tree. The 15 here is made up of the factors 5 and 3. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15 as well. You probably already know all this, so let's see how division works with this factor family. Starting at the top, 15 divided by 3 equals what? 5. Great job! We can also say that 15 divided by 5 equals 3. By using our fact families, we basically know that we can figure out an unknown number in division by using our multiplication strategies. This is awesome! Let's try a new type of problem and see how we do. This problem says 28 divided by 7 is equal to 7 multiplied by blank. In order to solve problems like this, we can learn how to turn division problems into multiplication problems. Let's start with writing down just the first part of the problem. Now that we have the division problem, let's write down what the multiplication problem would be. We know that the first number in the division problem is the product in a multiplication equation. So let's put down an equal sign and 28 as the product. They gave us one of the factors, which is 7, so we can put 7 in the equation. We just turned the division problem into a multiplication problem. Now we have 7 times something equals 28. Because we know the product is 28 and one factor is 7, we can now count by 7 until we get to 28. If you want to count with me, hold up your fingers each time we count by 7. We count 7, 14, 21, 28. How many fingers are you holding up? The answer is 4. 28 divided by 7 is 4, and 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. Great job! So the answer to the question at the top is 28 divided by 7 is equal to 7 times 4. I think you are getting the hang of this. Let's do one more problem to find that treasure. The problem says 30 divided by 6 is equal to 6 times blank. To find the answer, just like the last one, go ahead and try to write the division and multiplication problem. We have 30 divided by 6 equals blank for our division equation. We have 6 multiplied by blank equals 30. We knew the 30 was the product and 6 was one of the factors. Because 6 is one of the factors, we can count by 6. Count by 6 with me. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. How many times did we count? We counted 5 times. Great job! 30 divided by 6 is equal to 6 times 5. We did it! 
Yes, we found the treasure. Let's open it and see what's inside. Oh man, just a division symbol and an octopus. Well, it was still fun. Thanks for joining me. I am going to keep exploring. Goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh. <laughs>